Hi guys, welcome to Power Cubicle Guy. Hope everyone is doing good out there. In today's show, we are going to build our first chatbot using Microsoft Power Virtual Agents, which helps to quickly and easily create AI-powered solutions to some of your customer support challenges. But what is a chatbot? It's basically a computer program that's designed to simulate human conversation. So users can communicate with these tools using a chat interface, just like they would converse with any other person. So let's dig in and see how this can be done. But before that, a small intro. So guys, once you log in, you have to go to this chatbot option here and click on create to create a new chatbot. Once you click on that, you will see this screen where you have to name your bot, select the language and environment. So suppose uh, we name this chatbot as customer service. All right. Now let's select the language as English and the environment where you want to create this chatbot. Then click on create. You will see a working on it screen will be shown and it's creating a bot. It will take few minutes to create your bot. So you will see this screen once the bot created. So here the name of your bot customer service and here you will see a user interface of six main pages of home topics entities analytics publish and manage so home page uh, which includes shortcut to customize your greeting and to the topics publish and analytics pages as well as links to the uh, power virtual agents documentation support community where you can um, ask questions and idea forum for sharing ideas and leaving product feedback now uh, coming to topics page where you view delete and edit conversation topics entities page where you view and create entities that power virtual agents can recognize in customer conversations and load into variables analytics page where you can view the metrics uh, to monitor how well uh, your bot is serving your customers and uh, find ways to improve it and finally the publish page where you can publish the bot for a uh, team testing or to um, engage with your customers and lastly the manage page where you can select the channels uh, you want your customers to interact with your bot you can select your uh, website uh, microsoft teams and uh, Facebook or any other account you wish to and uh, also configure the authentication to let your users sign into their account and extend your bots conversational capabilities with skills right let's uh, try out a conversation with our bot so uh, let's go to topics and click on test your bot okay uh, now, first of all, uh, you have to click on the track between topics and let's type hello and click on send. So either you can uh, press enter or just uh, click on the send button. So you see here a uh, response is given by the virtual agent or with the default uh, uh, text written there, as you see on the right hand side. So hello is the trigger face and here is the message which is returned by the bot so uh, what you see on the right hand side is the topics page so that will open by default once you set this track between topics to on now suppose we write a message here the stores near me you notice that new topics open in the authoring canvas so and you have triggered one of the pre-built topics which is lesson two here if you see the top uh, heading here a simple topic with a condition and variable lesson two right so that is triggered with this uh, stores near me 
and now it's asking which store you want to select right so for example if I select Redmond you'll see the address of the Redmond store is displayed here and it's uh, going to the uh, end of conversation did that answer your question so yes no so if I click on yes it's going to another topic on the as you see on the right hand side that uh, that's the star rating and the message uh, thanks for your feedback and other things which are uh, pre-configured here right so now let's uh, edit our conversation okay let's go to let's uh, hide this bot for a while and go to topics let's make a copy of lesson 2 by clicking this ellipsis button more actions and click on make a copy so you see here topic copied successfully now if we go to the copied one which is this one as you see here the status is off by default now uh, if we have to edit this topic we have to click on this right and uh, for example if you want to add another store in the list of stores so suppose uh, let's make this as um, stores near me right now uh, click on save topic so as you see here it's saving the topic all right now let's go to the authoring canvas where you can add a condition now let's imagine another store is open so here you see a new option enter the store name so once you uh, click on new option you see here a condition is also added right so now let's enter a store name let's name it new store the same name is added here right now if the user select the new store we have to give the address of that new store as seen in the other uh, messages here so you have to click this plus sign which is add node and click on show a message so suppose uh, we write a text this is new store address one two three four high street preston victoria and pin code right and here you see uh, you can also add a variable insert variable here which is the store location so instead of typing the store name you can also use this variable pva store location so like used in the other messages now what we have to do once this address is uh, known to the user then this this should go to the end of conversation like it is all connected these messages are all connected here right so what we have to do is uh, click on this node icon and you see here if you hover your mouse over uh, this uh, small dot it will turn pink right now what you have to do is to drag and drop to the other uh, pink circle and hence it will get connected to the end of conversation now what you have to do is uh, click on save you will see it is saving your dialogue so once your dialogue is saved you have to go back to the topics and turn this topic on and you have to switch off the other topic which you made a copy of so switch this off alright so once this uh, lesson 2 is turned off and a store near me which you created you have to turn it on right so this is turned on so now you can uh, test the conversation you just edited now again click on test your bot so let's type uh, is there a store near me so notice that even though it isn't exactly the same as the trigger faces in the topic 
is there a store near me is there a store near me it's not there in the trigger faces works to trigger the topic because a power virtual agents understands that it means the same thing as the trigger faces now select uh, the new uh, store from here which you just added and see it's displaying the same address which you just entered there uh, the Preston store uh, address and again it's going to the end of conversation so we have edited the bot very successfully now let's go and publish this bot click on this publish option hide the bot click on publish Clicking on publish will push the latest uh, bot topics to the demo website basically. And the publishing process will check for the errors in the bot topics whose status is on. Publication uh, should take only a few minutes. So you will see a message at the top when publishing is complete, right? The content has been published. This will become available to your users within the next 15 minutes. So if you add users there, then it will be just taking 15 minutes. But uh, as of now, you can go to the demo website to test your bot, which you just created. So when the demo website opens, you can interact with your bot canvas by tapping at type your message here. And you can share the uh, demo website URL with your team. So congratulations, guys, you have built and published your first chat bot. Hope this video helps you guys to create your uh, first chat bot with Microsoft Power Virtual Agents. Guys, thank you for watching this video and please do subscribe to my channel to learn more. Thank you guys and see ya.